Some of us did it to meet up, but I come to a, pay, a point that you have to think about who is taking care of your husband in the night. Sporting on me high grade, sipping on me liquor. Girls, them I come, them I want, them I take her. Bad man, me I come in, me I wanna take her. Girls, them I come, them I want in on the liquor. I steady sipping on my liquor. Then I tell her me she give and never trust another nigga. Welcome back again, guys. This is Katia Valino. We are back live again Hi. with my celebrity here, Vivian Williams from Nollywood. Like I said in the previous video, Vivian is an actress, Nigerian actress in this part of the world, Canada. Toast wow. girl. She also do nursing on the side. So there's a lot of misconception about nurses, and today I am bringing Vivian into the house. Because she is a Vivian is an ICU nurse. ICU means after you have done your nursing, your iron, and then ICU intensive care unit. So yeah. special qualification for that. Vivian, why is it that a lot of people have misconception about nursing and the money they make and uh, especially Nigerian nurses? Does nurses really make that amount of money that can make men trip? Oh, <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, just to um, clarify a few things in my part. When I did nursing, um, I was an RPN. I did nursing because of the shift duty to allow me to take care of my kids. And okay. I did nursing while I was already married. Okay. So, um, yes, nurses, we are comfortable. I use that word comfortable. It's not the kind of richness that we're talking about in the world where you have Lamborghini, you have all this. It's just comfort, being able to pay the bills. But why is it that people think that nurses are like uh, making a half a million dollars a year or <laughs> even 200,000 a year? No, no. Why, 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 uh, why is the outside world portraying especially Nigerian nurses? And also, sorry, before you answer this question, I think that maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me. Yeah. Is it that nurses, uh, I would have to use the word show off. Do you think that nurses show off like they buy the most expensive cars and living above and beyond their earnings? I wouldn't use that word that nurses show off. Wanting to live comfortable doesn't mean you are showing off. Remember, no other pro none of the properties are being paid for. So you are actually paying mortgage. Okay. Even the house that you bought, you are paying um, on the house, on the house and on the car, right? So maybe you earn enough to pay all your bills with half of what you earn, and the other half is for savings. So I still, what. I still have to understand why does people think that nurses make a lot of money? I still want to to get that question. Why is this? Because nurses have the privilege. To have two or three jobs to get up this work and go to the next job so which means they're making double the income for example teachers go to work in the morning and come home by 4 p.m but nurses they can go from 7 in the morning to 7 in the evening and then even when they finish they can still go to another job for me personally i think it's because nurses have the privilege to have two or three jobs making it multiple income I, uh, for me, I don't think it's about having multiple incomes. If you work with the agencies, you can have more shifts. You work part-time, you can have... It, it, it's, it's, it's a needy job. We don't have enough nurses for the hospital. Period. We still need more nurses. So you are able to work enough shifts and more than enough shifts. Okay. Okay. Another question that I want to ask, because I see it going on, triggering in this part of the world and even U.S. Why is it that... Most nurses, their men, their spouse, their husbands don't really have jobs. Because I watch a lot of videos on YouTube where uh, even the ones that I know on one to one, men will go from this part of the world, marry somebody in Nigeria, bring them over to this part of the world, put them to nursing school so they can make money. At the end of the day, when the woman starts making money, trouble will come. A lot of them leads into divorce. Why is it that men do that a lot to go to Nigeria and marry people and bring them over here? To, it's not seen the only lucrative job that people can do. I'm going to say this. 
The men that have done this is because they don't have good jobs. So let's be realistic. If you have a good job, you are a doctor, you are a lawyer, you are not waiting to train somebody. So we're talking about the men that themselves doesn't have a good job. So they, they want to live a good life. They see other nurses. So they go home and bring in somebody to make them live that life they couldn't pay for. Guess what happened? The women, the, women, the women out of love, they do this. At the beginning, you don't feel burnt. But eventually, you're going to ache. You're going to be tired of being the only one supporting the family. You are going to cry out. And why nurses are doing this, there's a big problem at home. You are working every night. Who is sleeping with your husband? Thank you for the question. You answer me that question. You answer and you answer. So, so this, this is where the problem comes to the marriage. You're doing night five times a week. Remember, men are always going to be men. A man needs to be satisfied. So sometimes nurses get carried away by this money. Let's be realistic. Okay. If I need five sheets, I'm going to end this. If I do six sheets, I'm going to end this. But remember, somebody is warming your bed. For you. Let's be realistic. Don't get food. He drop you off. He pick up his girlfriend. Get home at 11. Some of you with your wife's money. With the car you are paying loan for. Go to his girlfriend. Get home by 11. Pick you up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Get your man busy. Because they're hopping, nurses start hopping from one job to the other. To other, trying to meet up with the big house you bought, the cars you are paying loan for, and your children you are paying for sport or paying something for, this man has no job. So if you are out there, you're not taking care of your bed, believe me, somebody's doing it for you. And you know what else I think? Nurses does not say that only women. There is nowhere in the world where it says that nurse has to be female. What happens to men going to nursing school? There are, I've seen very few male nurses from different Nigeria? Places. Yeah, very few male nurses. Yeah, but very what I'm saying is that why is it that men cannot go to school and become nurses? Why do they always have to rely on their women being nurses? If they think that nursing is the end world for them, that everybody, the nurses make a lot of I am money. saying this with respect. This applies to the men who did not go to school, who is not having their business. A lot of men are very out there, they are out there, they are doing their thing, they don't depend on their wife's money. Very true. I have a friend, she said, no, the husband earned good money. Because of the lifestyle she's living, she worked almost five to seven, 12 hours shift in a week. It's not only that, what I'm trying to say, if you go to Nigeria, maybe you went to nursing school when you were in your 20s and 30s, Time goes on, 40s, 50s, the body is aching, the body yeah. is getting tired. Mm -hmm. We gotta slow down. Listen, there was something on internet last month. There is this nurse, she died of cancer. I think she's 45 years old wow. in the United, in United States. Wow. She left over 100,000 in her bank account. No husband, but her I can understand, maybe no husband, she needs to keep herself busy, right? No husband, no children, no will. All the money goes to the government. So but wow. in my own case, what I'm saying is that if you're a nurse, if you're a teacher, anything you are, remember to make out time to take care of yourself. Yes. Life does not have duplicates. Yes. You work, 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 stop, take a pause, go on a vacation. If that is going to trip you and make you happy, yeah. go on a vacation, but go sometimes, shopping. Sometimes in life there are times you need to walk and walk and walk and meet up. But know when to slow down. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Know yes. when to slow down because yes. the body is going to respond eventually yes. Yes. and say, I'm tired. Yes. And when that happens, and know how to plan eventually for the old age because it's going to get to you. So it's not only nurses, we have teachers, we have women that are lawyers. This is sometimes yeah. I don't know why it's But why do nurses. nurses make so much noise? Doctors are there, yeah. lawyers are there. Yeah. I have a girlfriend who she's an engineer. She's also a news uh, caster. You don't hear about why is nursing making? I'm telling you, nurses that I'm telling you, eighty thousand dollars to one hundred thousand dollars a year. That's what I'm talking about here. And they make so much fuse and noise about. And there are people who make three hundred thousand. I don't a year. think nurses are the one making noise though. Don't let me realistic. I don't think nurses are really making noise. I think nurses make noise. No, Come on. No, I don't think nurses okay, are making makes noise, noise? Uh, about uh, how comfortable they are. It's just like naturally you see that we are comfortable. 
I don't think so. I disagree with you here. <laughs> they might not come out to make noise because I've been in a party where they set out a table and say that this table is only for nurses. And they pop champagne, they make noise. This person is driving Mercedes, this person is driving BMW. And because this person has a Range Rover, I have to have a BMW. And because I have a BMW, you have to have a Porsche. I see that as a competition, as a, I, I also, I'm going to call out name, Nadine, you are watching this video. I went for a baby shower sometime. You know what? Vivian, you traveled to Nigeria and I know that you have an input in that baby shower but you weren't around. So when somebody was talking, the MC was talking, you know what she said? She stood up, she said, hey, this is the RNs doing this baby shower. Hello. I looked, I said, RNs my, uh, for what? You know, it shows how petty some people could be. Yeah, like, a so like show off and then other people were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's classless. I do this agree. is a different something that I'm I do agree. Into. I do agree to some instance that um, some nurses do compete within themselves. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. one have a brand new car, I want to have a brand mm -hmm. new car. Mm -hmm. And actually, let's be realistic, we can afford it. I don't think so. You know why I say I don't think um, so? Uh, nurses in this part of the world live above their air income. They can afford it. If they afford it and pay cash and have their houses pay cash, you can tell me you can afford it. But because people in Nigeria, let's be realistic. People in Nigeria, we are all Nigerians and we're just having chit chat. When you say they can afford it, they pay their car cash. They build their houses cash. Yeah. They do everything cash. Telling me you can afford it, you go and get a car note and you're paying every month and you're paying, your, you're paying mortgage to me. I don't think that there is an affordability there. But I'm going to say this to you. Mm -hmm. Every profession mm -hmm. that bought houses in this part of the world, they are paying mortgage. No, no, I, I'm not okay. saying okay. they're not paying mortgage. mortgage. Yeah. It. But they don't make noise. Yeah, doctors are paying mortgage. They don't make uh, noise. Lawyers, every profession, nobody is buying house cash in Canada or but in the US. Business, you are very rich. But they don't make noise. No. Doctors people, don't make noise. People are making noise most of the time for the nurses. Only few nurses are making noise. I know those who are making noise, people that are <laughs> close to me, they make noise because I remember I was I'm an European. Listen to me. I was an European and nobody knew I was a nurse. My husband had gone to an office to, do, to pick up something for me. One person met my husband and said, what are you doing here? He said, I came here to pick up things for my wife. He said, which of your, which wife? He said, one wife? The only one I have. Yeah, he? yeah. He goes like, is it a nurse? Said, yes, she's a nurse. She's been a nurse for years. So when we did nursing, nobody even knew that I was a nurse for many years. Yes. Nobody but knew that I am a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. I never talked about it. I just lived my life. But what I'm trying to say in effect is that buying a new car, buying a new house is affordable if you have a good salary in any profession. That's exactly what I'm saying. Like you, you you, like in the beginning you said because they can afford it. Let me tell you if you're watching this video from Nigeria or anywhere as long as you have a job you can afford to afford drive a Mercedes. It. Yes. It's not only nurses yes. because you are paying at the end of the, exactly. of the end of every even if you work as a, in a restaurant you can afford to live a comfortable life. Don't be deceived that nurses are this are this are that. You can afford whatever they are affording. Don't be so much alarmed that nurses are this and this and that. Yes, it's good to go to school, but there are professions who earn more than nurses. And you will never hear it. I have a girlfriend who's a psychiatrist. Yeah. You will never hear her. Mm -hmm. or, they are, she's so mellow. She's so, so humble. But I want to call it this a perception, okay? Yeah. Only few nurses kind of... Sometimes when you talk about how comfortable you are, in the presence of other people. It doesn't mean you are bragging. It depends on how you show that. I show it. So uh, for me, I don't hide it to say I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The reason why I don't hide it, I don't even make it a noise outside. But you can know there are things I wouldn't drive to do. There are things I would drive to do. It's not in the only career that I have. No, I'm a businesswoman, big time. It's a part of me that nobody knows. I'm an entrepreneur. 
I do, apart from Nollywood movie where I produce my movie, and uh, I also do acting in the movies, I have a business behind that I have not launched yet. It's something myself and my husband will be doing for years. So my income is not from nursing alone, but it's able Bless to you. pay the bill. Give you a comfortable life. The bill that sustain me and my family. You understand? So in any part of the world, most of the money we make goes to bills. So out there, I just want you to understand, there are better professions. Nursing is a beautiful profession. I love it. I'm a nurse. But it's not the, 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 end, the, the end of the world. And doing, uh, when you are married, understand you are a married woman. Yes. There are obligations for a married woman. Less 60% of your obligations being your marriage and your children. Don't lose that on your marriage, don't lose that on your children. Like I said to some women that have been close to me, be careful who you leave your bed for in the night for, six days a week. Yes. In the winter, in the summer, these men are alone in the bed. And I'm hearing the voice, the voice, the voice. Everyone is blaming the men. Come on now. I know. What do you expect him to do? Yes. When you are over ambitious, you want to be for flats within six months. You build in Abuja, you build in Benin, and your husband is not have, is only have one house. And some of the time, the men are not even the one pushing the women to do all these things. They are just competing within themselves. Isn't that what I said in the beginning about men, where the nurses competing? Now you are coming so, back to what I said. I they said want some to of them. Yes. I'm, saying some I'm of not them. saying all of them. Yeah, yes. and I, I've met some of them. I'm saying, oh, I just finished my fourth flight. Mm -hmm. I just finished my fourth flight. Excuse me. It's good to have houses. Believe me. At the same time, it's good to keep your family intact. That man needs your kiss. So the, 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 message, the message here the message is to here, hold your family Hold together. your family and don't this take your job thoughts. over your family. Yes. And the men help out. <laughs> yes. Help your women. Don't help. So she give me on the neck. So she feeling on the neck. So she run on the neck. Uh, who's that? Baby, tell me who's that? Look back, baby, make ya look back. Ah, move that, where ya move that? Touch that, baby, me just wanna touch that. Then tell me red eye. Now you they mash up the place. Ah, then tell me red eye. Cause you are what see me red eye. The only special one for me. Ah, now you be the only one I see. Anywhere ya go, I wanna be. Can you feel up my yeah. oh, oh, oh. Let's have a good time Baby, I'ma make you sweat Let's have a good time Baby, I'ma make you sweat Pour me ya, say she give me pour me ya In a ya, say she give me in a ya uh, Man a wine, say she give me dirty wine Man a grind, say she give me dirty wine Say, yeah, say my wine in every grind in other things so any man let me looking at the thing so Girl your body say your money while I sing so Man a bad man a boss in the thing so Girl if I'm your yard, see me for me yard Me na pill of wine, say she give me feel of wine Say let me the feel of wine, say she give me feel my wine Man a wine, say she give me for me yard Say enter the red eye Now you they mash up the place eye Enter the red eye Girl you are what see me brain eye The only special one for me Do you